Hey guys, Derek here from Pacific Coast Auto. And today is going to be a report day. And as you can see, <laughs> with the droplets on the camera, it is raining today. And it turns out that rainy day reports aren't something that we do very often because obviously the car doesn't look as good in the rain as it does when it's not rainy. But when the lot's super full and when it's raining all week, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And so I wanted to make a quick video here because I have a little bit of a funny story when it comes to uh, rain suits. But before we get into that, I have something pretty important to tell you. Uh, we got, um, there's a YouTuber on YouTube and he made a video and he mentioned us in the video and uh, just out of nowhere he did that. So I thought that was a really cool thing that he did and so I wanted to give him a, a shout out back. And so this is Daniel O'Grady from Wasabi Cars, maybe some of you guys know about it. The channel has something like 60,000 subscribers on it. But Daniel's a super nice guy and I spoke to him on the phone a couple of times. And uh, if you haven't already, go subscribe to his channel. You really should because his content is really good. If you're into uh, classic Japanese cars, cars that you can only get here in Japan in some cases. And so go check that out. And you should do it now so that you don't forget. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can barely see me with all the the water on the lens there. Anyways, about the story of the uh, rain suit. And so this suit that I'm wearing right now, it's a full pants style suit. And so I went into this small shop and there was a old lady about 65 years old working there and I needed to find the rain suits. And so I went in there and I said, I, I need to find a rain suit, but I didn't remember the Japanese word for rain suit. So I was like, I need a uh, Mizuboso no suits. And so the lady laughed at me and I had no idea why she was laughing. And so I asked for it again. Uh, do you have a Mizu Boso suit? So Mizu in Japanese means water, right? And uh, Boso, well, Mizu Boso actually means uh, chicken pox, like the sickness chicken pox. And so to her, it looked like I was asking for a chicken pox suit. And so no wonder she was a little bit uh, startled at my, you know, gaijin walking into the store saying, hey, do you have a chicken pox suit? I'd like to buy one. And so she kind of understood uh, after a while it kind of hit her, you know, and she said, oh, a bosui suit. So the uh, Japanese word for waterproof suit is bosui, not mizu boso. So got it confused, a little bit funny. Uh, anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to go shoot the report. I'm going to go dry off the camera lens a little bit and then try to get those reports without as much water hitting the lens there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and a funny little story about what happens when you live in Japan and you don't know how to speak Japanese very well. Thanks a lot. See you later.